time to get to the business news now with Nona Peltier. Nona, AMP Wealth Management, it reckons it's going to quit its offices in central Auckland and Wellington. Is this kind of the new face of um, business post-COVID-19? I think it's mixed in this right. case, though, I guess perhaps it's the way that this uh, organization works, but 70% of their staff would like to have a mix of both. So that's You mean th- working at home yeah, and working in 300, the office? 300 people, mm. I guess, decided 70% of them, you know, quite like working at home, don't mind going into the office. Uh, 8% definitely don't like working at home, and the rest were, oh no, they, they would like to just stay at home all the time. So what the companies decide to do is quit office space in Auckland, so that's, I think, two and a half levels in an office building in central Auckland, and then one level in Wellington, and then they're going to just open up some space outside of the CBD, which is going to be obviously cheaper for when those meetings need to be held, or what is it, I guess an office party perhaps, who knows. But, interesting Interestingly, uh, that's not what we're hearing from some of the other uh, organizations. So Colliers, for example, has said that that some of their um, customers have had some second thoughts about that. They are not quite sure they want to give up some space. Uh, we've heard that also from leasing agents in Christchurch uh, because of the costs associated with keeping your staff at home, for example, extra cost of utilities. Uh, some of the, some people are saying, well, you know, internet and other things, if you're going to work from home, there's the going to be some cost. to contribute Exactly, to yeah. there's that okay. as well. And then others are talking about just the co- the intangible costs. So, you know, it's just like us working together. There's a kind of a, you know, a, a, a camaraderie, but and also communication, communication and collaboration. And also corporate culture. If you're going to work from your office at home and you never come into the office, what what is your corporate culture? And a lot of companies have invested a great deal into that, you know, the corporate culture of an organization. What happens to that if you never have any staff turned up for work? Yeah, so it's not it's not as simple as just the basic no. bricks and mortar. So we're not sure that out. this is going to really take off. Let's okay. just wait. We'll have to wait and see. What a great segue, Nona, taking off. Air New Zealand says it's going to start flying to Japan from the end of the month. And what are the details there? Well, we don't have a lot of details because I did phone the airline and I asked them, what are are the details and the, they're saying that government border controls in both countries will still be in place at this stage. So there's no bubble with Japan. If so a lot there, of quarantine, yeah, or isolation. Well, it depending. depends, though. Uh, you know, maybe Japan will have a different view of travel between. New Zealand and and, uh, Tokyo, but will New Zealand have a different view? That remains to be seen. And uh, just earlier, uh, some people were talking about it, and one fellow said, well, you know, the Japanese love skiing. They'll come for the whole season. So two-week quarantine, if they're allowed to come in, wouldn't be a big deal, which is quite interesting. So where does this lead? I don't know. We're going to have to wait to hear from the government on what border restrictions will remain in place in a few weeks' time. Exactly, because you still need exemptions to get over that border. Absolutely, closed do, yep. at the moment. So, what numbers were you looking at today on the market? Okay, look, we're we're sitting across Asia. It's a bit sideways at the moment. Markets not sure which way to go. We fell a third of a percent, thirty eight points to eleven thousand two hundred and sixty one, and that's really because most of the most of the markets are just sitting around waiting to hear from the U.S. Federal Chair Jerome Powell on which way the wind will blow for the United States economy, and that's going to be a big. Uh, a big sort of determination of which way the markets go from here. Uh, So we're trading at 65.3 US cents, 93.6 and 51, that's Australian, and 51.2 British pence. Thanks, Nona. Nona Peltier with our business news today.